Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I have something new for my GPS speedometer with the Sweetec motor, the analog indicator. And there's also all the display, you probably have seen this before. And I did 3D print a case for it and I have a back case also, a black plate with two touch sensors and I will link that video into the description where you can see it and today I have something new and these are the base um, cases that I 3D printed and today I have courtesy of PCBWay I got a metal 3D printed and let's see how it looks like the package came a little bit of crumbled. Let's see what we have inside. Paper, nobody wants to see. Nothing else in the box. No presents for me. And here we go. This is the first time I'm ordering something 3D printed in metal. Let's see how it looks like. Nicely packaged and this is what it looks like. <clears throat> so since it is 3D printed, you can see the layers. It's a bit rough here. It has a certain amount of weight let me see oh, you can hear it's metal let's see how heavy this got my scale here seventy grams oops sorry seventy grams as a comparison, we have 22.5 grams on the PLA. So <clears throat> let's inspect a little further. I'm looking around my phone. Um, it is kind of rough, and I will try to process a bit from the inside because I don't know if you sand it down what will happen to it but you have three versions now and uh, well, let me get the PCBs Let's see the fit of it. So here's a bare PCB that is supposed to fit. Not quite. But that can be also due to the rough surface inside. Let's see how it works with the back PCB, back cover. No, that has to be sanded down as well. It almost fits, but not quite. So these are actually supposed to be oversized a bit. Let's see what we actually have. This is supposed to be 84 millimeters. <clears throat> Sorry. So it's a bit shy of 84. And this is not even 84, that's less. So that point 0 0.07 millimeters make the difference. 
<laughs> Obviously this is easy to sand down and then it will fit perfect. But um, in case you're having a STL file that you want to have 3D printed in metal, I mean it's just amazing. I wish I had a drucker, a drucker here, yeah, a printer uh, that could uh, 3D print um, STL files. In the meantime, I do have a SLA printer. Also, thanks to Peter. Thank you, Peter, for your contribution. And that's one thing that I SLA printed, resin printed. That's another project. Hopefully, it will come to life one day. And um, anyway, sorry if I'm dragging on, but this is the first piece that I have 3D printed in metal. And I wonder how you can smooth this out I'm pretty sure you can pretty I'm pretty sure I'm pretty <laughs> sure that you can smooth it out by sanding it down I just don't know what kind of finish you will get with it so but uh, if you had it CNC machined you would not have these lines because the machine would just go round and round and but 3d printing you do see the same artifacts that you see on the sla print so this is my initial unboxing and uh, review of the 3d printed metal <laughs> and i will record the other parts of it and then show you how it will look finished so Stay tuned.